Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So, recently I've been doing some streams looking at the best tanks in their class and in the tier, starting at tier 6. And what we're going to do, I'm now going to convert those streams into a video, and we're going to go through what those tanks are in a bit more detail, because everybody loves to play the best tanks, and that's what we're going to tackle first. So, without any further ado, what is is the best light tank in tier 6. Jumping into Blitzstars, we can see straight away that the VK2801, the German light tank, is the best tank for lights in tier 6. It has 1,414 battles and it has a win rate of 53.10%, with an average damage per battle of 8.25 and a hit rate of 80%. Over 10,000 players play this tank, but what makes it so good? So here we are in the VK28, jumping out onto Desert Sands. And the first thing you'll know about this tank is that it has got really fantastic mobility. Going forward, you're gonna do about 65 kilometers an hour. Reverse, you're gonna do about 22. Okay, it doesn't really have a good camo rating. 25% when you're on the move, and you're and and uh, or or if you're standing still, and after you shoot, seven percent. It also hasn't got really much armor because it's a light tank, but it has got a great aim time. It's got DPM of one thousand seven hundred one. It's got average penetration. Well, it's got penetration, sorry, of one hundred fifty seven, which is pretty good. In fact, it's better than some of the mediums out there. Average damage of one hundred sixty. Rate of fire just over 10 and a half rounds a minute with a reload time of shy of six seconds so this is a tank that is absolutely beautiful and if you know how to play the vk28 you will have a really good time in it problem is you can't front line this thing you've got to use that mobility and that spotting range and if you can do that Boy, this is just a bundle of fun tied up in a big bow. Now, a lot of people already like playing this tank. We've seen that 1,400. And this is a tank that really should be in everybody's garage. And if you're just getting used to those light tanks, then this is the perfect starter kit. Because once you start going up those tiers, you're going to be able to deal with the mobility issues, etc, 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 and the lack of armour. This one, uh, you know, you just really can't go too wrong with it. Not with its penetration, not with its accuracy, and not with its aim time. I love this tank. I think this is probably one of the best tanks in the game. And I absolutely love rolling out in it. Because you can have so much fun. It's not as forgiving as you'd think as i said it's got no armor but it will get you into trouble very easily but it with that mobility it gets you out also and that's the thing i mean look at the gun on this tank it is beautiful it's not struggling with any of these tier sevens to be honest with you it, it will penetrate them but you've got to make sure you're getting the right shots in every man and his dog is going to pen you but look at that i mean that's an smv a tier 7 SMV to boot, and we've just gone straight through his tracks. That is why I love this tank. There's the VK3601H, one of the most heavily armoured tanks in tier 6. And this tank, okay, I've seen, you know, it doesn't have HE, but you don't need it. I mean, it's got good AP, and it's got pretty decent APCR. And there we go. 1,547 knocked out, two kills. That is a pretty lovely game in the VK28. Okay, I didn't set the world on fire. There's no mastery. There's no ace tanker. But we did our job. We managed to do what we needed to do. And that is why I love this tank. We get a first class anyway. And a first class in this tank, I'll take that every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Believe me. I mean, I love it. We're not the top damage. That goes to the challenger. But we are pretty, pretty close. So that's the VK2801, the little German light tank. And it is an absolute beauty in tier six. So if you don't have this tank yet in your garage, you're really missing out, boys and girls. So really take a closer look at this tank because it is absolutely lovely. 
We're now going to look at the medium and what is the best medium in tier six. So jumping back into Blitz Stars, we can see that by far the most played and the best medium tank is the Soviet T-3485. After 844 battles, it has a win rate of 52.27%. However, it has pretty low damage output. The damage per battle on average is about 820. And its survival rate, well, it's pretty decent, 31.82%, with an accuracy of 80%. Not a bad tank, I hear you say. But what's this like to play, and what makes it so good? Well, here we are rolling out in the T-3485 on mines. Now, one of the things good about this tank is that it's pretty, pretty mobile. 54 kilometers an hour going forwards, 20 going backwards. It has similar camo rating to that of the VK-28. 25% while you are stationary. It has drops down to 18% when you're moving, 6% and after you fired. But it has the same aim time just over two seconds. It has better DPM, 1,722. Admittedly, it doesn't have the same penetration, only 144, but well, when you compare that to the VK with its 157, it's a bit difficult, but the alpha damage is 200. Rate of fire, well, it's gonna dish out just over eight rounds a minute with a reload time of just shy of seven seconds. So that is what makes this tank interesting. It's got a good turn of speed, but more importantly, unlike the VK, it also has some trolley armor. Now, that's not to say this tank is gonna bounce everything. It's not. I mean, the armor can be trolled, but it's not invincible. You can get hurt in this thing. Now, this isn't the best of replays, I'm going to admit, because they went to take the base. But you'll get to see that that average damage of 800 is just too low, really. This thing has the capability of knocking out a thousand damage plus. The gun is pretty accurate. The penetration, not the best, but it's okay. I mean, we just smacked a KV-1S in the side there, and it's dishing out 200 IN alpha if you can get that shot to land. So it's not a bad medium. It's got everything going for it. You can't front line it, however. And if you do attempt to front line it, then you're gonna get into trouble, to be honest with you. Because if you're up against those tier sevens, which you will come against tier sevens, you are going to start to struggle with this tank because they will hurt you. It only has 930 hit points. That is not a lot. And with its armor profile, yes, you know, if you can angle it and do this and do that, you will get those bounces. But its armor profile, to be honest with you, is pretty, pretty bad. However, we're going to give this cyborg a hard time. He's on the base. We're just going to keep resetting him. We've already done over a thousand damage. Now I'm going to just use the mobility, reset the camo, pop out, shoot him, because it's got a pretty good aim time, pretty accurate tank, pretty decent penetration for its tier, pretty, pretty good damage output, and pretty good mobility. So I'm quite happy to just sit here, point and shoot poke and shoot, hide and seek. And you can see there, but the cyborg does tap me in the end. Not to worry, we're now gonna push him and give him a bit of a harder time and take him out of the game. We do 1,643 damage, we bounced 135, we took two kills. That is not a bad rollout in the T-3485. I mean, we're not setting the world on fire again, we're not getting those masteries. We get a second class for our troubles. We spotted three tanks, we did some assistance damage. I like this tank. This tank is nice. Admittedly, there are better T-34 variants out there. Think of the Rudy, for example. But this one, for a tech tree, don't forget that we are looking at tech tree only, is a beautiful little tank. And if you like your mediums or you're a new player and you're going down that medium line, this is a perfect tank to learn those medium skills. So we've done the light, we've done the medium. What about the best heavy in tier six? Well, let's jump back into Blitz Stars and let's see what that is. Rightio, here we are back in Blitz Stars. And as you can see, the best tier six heavy tank, Tech Tree, is the ARL 44, the French 
tier six heavy. It's not the most played. That moniker belongs to the KV2, unsurprisingly, because lots of people like the derp. But the ARL44 with 1,310 battles has almost a 55% win rate, 54.50. Its damage per battle is the best, just over 1,000. It's got a pretty decent hit rate of 80.75% and reasonable survival at 34% with a credit coefficient of 94%. So what makes this tank the best heavy in the tier? Now I forewarn you, I'm not a massive fan of the ARL44. It's a great tank in certain respects, but I'm not one of the biggest fans of it. But we're going to jump in and have a look at the battle anyway. So here we are in the ARL44. And it's not exactly quick. 37 kilometers an hour going forwards, 10 going backwards. Its camo rating is absolutely pants. Stationary, you've got 4%. On the move, 2%. And after you've fired, no percent. It's pretty, pretty bad. It's got a decent aim time, just under two and a half seconds. It's got pretty decent gun depression, 10 degrees. And it's got a pretty nice DPM. In fact, it's fantastic DPM, just over 2,000, with an average penetration, sorry, average penetration, with a penetration of 180. That is pretty nice. I mean, we're talking derp material here. Alpha damage, 225, much better than what we saw with the T-3485. Now, why don't I like this tank? Well, I'm not a big fan. I think it's a little bit slow, but, but its saving grace is if you like tournaments or you're just getting used to tournaments, this is the tier six monster of tournaments. If you are rolling out in tier six tournaments, you should be in an ARL 44 because this tank is just the best tank you can ever roll out in in a tournament believe me and you know it'd be i'd be surprised not to see six you know in a tier six tournament six arls in a vk because why wouldn't you the tank is okay as i said i mean i'm not a big fan but it's okay it's a good all-rounder it's incredibly noob friendly. It's got pretty decent armor. Okay, when it comes against some of the tier sevens, it does struggle a bit, but it's not shabby in kicking out the damage. And you know, if you're a new player and you're just getting used to these type of tanks and you're just getting used to these heavy lines, then the ARL is a perfect starter for everybody to learn the tricks of the trade. You can front line in it. You can learn how to angle effectively in it. Okay, the gun's a bit weird when it wants to be, but you can't go running this tank. It's incredibly noob friendly. And I would recommend that anybody who's rolling out, you know, new to the game, get yourself into an ARL. Forget the other tanks, forget the German tanks, forget the Russian tanks. The ARL is by far the best, best training vehicle for heavy tank driving in the game at tier six. So that's what I thoroughly recommend. You really can't go wrong in this tank. I mean, you can see there we've dished out 1,894 damage. We take three kills. We bounce 200. We're on the front line from start to finish. That is what an ARL can do. And it does it in spades. And that's why I really, you know, recommend this tank to all new players. Okay, we only get a second class, but I'm happy with that, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, you don't need to set the world on fire. You need to learn how to play the tanks down in this level. And that's it. And we're top damage for our troubles. So that's the ARL 44, the best heavy tank in tier six. Last, but by no means least, we're now going to look at the best TD. And again, it's another tank that I am not overly impressed about and it's not a tank that's one of my favorites to be perfectly honest with you not td wise but let's have a look in blitz stars and see what it is so here we go in blitz stars and as we can see the su 100 the soviet td in tier 6 takes the top spot after 656 battles it has a 52.12 percent win rate okay the samovente m43 Pesoto is nipping at its heels so is the M18 Howcat. This has a damage per battle of 900. Pretty low considering, and when you look at the Pesoto, it's over 1,000. You wonder why, but, but, 
This is because the gun on this one is pretty, pretty troll. It has a survival of 34%, not the best, and a hit rate of 75%, again, because the gun is pretty, pretty troll. So let's jump into a game and let's see what it is that makes this tank so good. So here we are, rolling out in the SU-100. Now this tank has a DPM of 1,965 lower than the ARL-44. It has a penetration of 180, same as the ARL-44, but it has an high-end alpha of 400, and that's the thing. It also has a pretty decent aim time, 2.26 seconds, and six degrees of gun depression, which isn't great. It's pretty fast, 50 kilometers going forward, and it's got a pretty decent camo rating, 39% standing still, 23% moving, and 10% when you've just fired. So it's not overly bad. Now, as you see here, we've already churned out 414 damage. I'm playing it with the derp gun, and most people are going to play it with the derp gun, let's be honest. The thing is, I'm not a big fan of this tank because the gun is a little bit trolly. It's, it, you know, the shots can go a bit wild. Even though the aim time is 2.26 seconds, it just seems a lot longer to get it down and then things like that happen. And it's really quite annoying. It doesn't have very many hit points either, only 900. And to be honest with you, you know, the, the, the it's got a pretty long load time at 12.2 seconds with the derp gun, which for a tier six is a long, long time. But you can get fun out of it, like smacking a Simavente, blind shooting him and get 595 damage knocked out to boot. It's pretty low, don't get me wrong. It's it, Obviously, it's a fixed casemate, there's no turret. So it's pretty low and you can put it behind a bush. It's got a pretty decent camo rating and you can have some fun in it. Problem is, when it comes against those tier 7s or even a KV-2 with the derp gun, it can be pretty, pretty just soul destroying, to be honest with you. Because you can get smacked for one shot. What, with 900 hit points, you're not going to be doing, you know, much damage if a KV-2 or a smasher comes rolling around the corner and puts a shot into you. Thing is, I can see why people like this tank. I can understand why people, you know, enjoy rolling out on this thing. It's a derp tank. I don't personally think it's the best TD in the tier. I think the Howcat for the Tech Tree version is probably a better tank. We do 1,100 damage there. We get crucial contribution of three kills, and we get a, you know we get some decent medals and ribbons for our troubles. Not setting the world on fire again. Um, I always struggle in this tank, as I said. And to be perfectly honest with you, I really do prefer the tanks like the Howcat over the Su 100. As I say, more people are going to play this because it's got a derp gun. It's as simple as that. And remember, we're not looking at uh, the premium tanks here, so we're not looking at the SU-100Y or stuff like that. We're only looking at the tech trees. And, you know, that just happens to be uh, the best tech tree TD going at the moment, despite the fact that Basoto up there did more damage. The Hellcat is just nipping at our heels. Anyway, that's been our look at the best tech tree tanks in Tier 6, from light to medium, medium to heavy, heavy to TD. These aren't my picks, these aren't my calls. This is based purely on the stats stated by Blitzstars. So I'll be interested to know what your take is on all of that. To be honest with you, I can see why the VK28 is up there and I can see why the T34 is up there and I can even see why the ARL44 is up there. But for the life of me, I don't understand why the SU100 is, but that's just the way things rock. I've been Fujit, that has been the best tier sixes. By all means, comment everything below because I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And until the next time, remember guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.